Hi, everybody. Before we get to another great interview, we could really use your help. IMDB, which is the entertainment database, recently named the Two Opinionated Podcast one of its top 100 podcasts. This is a monumental feat for this program. You know, we're a father and son team out of a small town in West Virginia, have been doing this for about five years. There's 15 million podcasts out there. About 40,000 of those get to the point that they're listed on IMDb. Out of those 40,000 out of the 15 million, we are ranked number 82. Something that we're just immensely proud of. We're so thankful for our listeners, our watchers, our fans. Thank you so, so much. If you would like to help us out and we're asking for it, please. Um, it's easy. It's real, it, it's really easy. It's free. If you go to IMDB, that's IMDB.com, look up two opinionated podcasts and just take a look at the page. That's all you have to do. I mean, you're welcome to look at the cast, look at the episodes so you can kind of see who's been on the program. Do whatever you want, but even just bringing up the page, imdb.com, Two Opinionated Podcast, bring up the page, look at it. That helps us so much. So please, if you can do anything, we would really appreciate that. Um, our YouTube channel is MeisterCon Pod. Love to have your subscription there. It's also free. And you can also check out our website, MeisterCon.com, where you'll find almost 700 episodes, audio and video, available on there. There's also a terrific blog from Brett, and it'll let you know anything that we have going on in studio, if we're covering a convention, if we're going on location, anything that we have going on will be on the website, MeisterCon.com. Thank you guys so, so much. We appreciate you so much much. I, I can't express enough how appreciative we are of all of you. We never, never expected to, to do as well as, as we have, and that's all because of you. Thank you so much. Enjoy that interview. Bye, everybody. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Two Opinionated. I'm so excited today. I've got actress Charlotte Daish with me. So welcome, Charlotte. Thank you so much for having me. Now, I'm so glad that you're on the show. Um, and we have to talk about Cry of Silence. It looks terrific. But before we do, let's start with you. Um, tell me a little bit about what got you into acting, why you want to, uh, wanted to go into the entertainment business. Obviously, it's a difficult uh, profession. So, you know, what got you into it? <laughs> yes, certainly it is. Well, you know what, for as long as I can remember, I've just been very drawn to anything that has to do with performance. So like, um, like dancing or singing or acting. And as a child, I was mesmerized when I would watch like musicals or shows or theater, um, even like someone performing on TV. I was just very drawn to it. And I told my mom very early on that I wanted to perform. <laughs> Um, and then when I was four and a half, my grandmother took me to watch a musical and I was completely Ooh. just mesmerized. And I actually ran down to the stage to get my poster signed and I asked them if I could perform with them. <laughs> so I was very like straightforward and like... And you knew what you they, wanted. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I went for it. But I ended up get, getting an audition with that theater group. Um, and I, yeah, I immersed myself in theater for almost like musical theater for almost a decade after that. Um, so I started very young and yeah, that's always just felt a, a big, like I've been drawn towards it. <laughs> well, and so I'm guessing that means that you can sing at least a little bit if you were doing musical theater. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> well, I think I saw, did, did you compete maybe in one of those Eurovision competitions? Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I, we represented Norway um, in Junior Eurovision Song Contest when I was um, 11. Yeah. Well, I know, that that, really I, know I know <laughs> that, you know, over uh, in Europe, those are so big and popular and, and all that. But it's really just been the last decade or so that it's become real well known here in the States. 
So, so, you know, now we've watched it, you know, they televise some of those competitions now and we've seen them. They're kind of amazing, but what a great experience <laughs> to get to do that when you're younger. Yeah, I know. No, it was, it was amazing. Um, and, um, really grateful for that opportunity. And I grew a lot from it and kind of helped lay the foundation for my career a little bit too. And, and actually we did, um, it's, we did a reunion, like not, not last year, but the year before with like all the winners from Norway. And it was really fun. I was singing the song I was singing when I was 11 and it was such a cool experience. So yeah, it really is big and there's a big fan base for it. And so I'm really glad to be a part of that. Yeah, that's awesome. I, and I didn't know they did reunions. How fun. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. That's, that's pretty good. Do you, what, what was the song? Is it one we would know? <laughs> uh, well, it's Norwegian. You probably wouldn't know it. Um, <laughs> It's so translated. It's called Sinsugal Forelskit in Norwegian. And that's that translates to madly in love. I, oh, I was nice. singing with another, a friend of mine and we were, yeah, secretly a little bit in love maybe. And so we wrote a song about love and yeah, it was very cute. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's really good. That's, that's really good. So, so you did musical theater, you know, at, at mm -hmm. what point did you decide okay now I'd like to try a tv show or a movie yeah um I mean I think I always knew that I wanted to do that and um I did like a short film when I was a, a kid like and it was just like a gradual transition mm -hmm. um so yeah I just started to kind of get more into film and tv eventually and really found myself enjoying that a lot yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Have you had a role that you've gotten to sing yet? Um, on film? Uh, no, I haven't. I actually nice. did have a part when I played a, um, I was like a, a European like pop star and I was performing, but they already had a song. So I had to like lip sync it and I was hoping I would get to actually sing it, <laughs> but I said I didn't. So <laughs> It well, yeah, couldn't voice, they just let you learn the song? Yeah, they just let they just sent me the song, and that and then, was it. I was like, oh, yeah. You think you? Mm -hmm. They just let you learn to actually sing it instead. <laughs> sing it. They only had someone who who sang the song, and I guess they wanted her, and I don't know. <laughs> well, so when when people watch, did you tell them that was me singing, or did you say no, it wasn't me singing? I wouldn't say it was me, obviously, but the movie isn't out yet, so oh, it's I not even out yet. So no, nobody, yeah, you haven't run into that yet. See, I'd be yeah, the, I wouldn't yet. volunteer the information, but if I was asked, I'd probably say. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so so let's talk a little about Cry of Silence. I watched the uh, the trailer, and it looks amazing yeah. it looks it looks really good but tell me about it. what's the movie about what's your role in it yeah so it is a thriller with lots of twists and turns and it'll definitely keep you riveted um yeah. so it's about a couple who is trying to settle into a community that's terrorized by a serial killer um i play uh the role of margaret classen we call her maggie yeah um she basically is haunted by a demon from her past and she has to really fight for her life back. Well, yeah, that uh, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there's a lot going on. It was very dramatic. Did, I, did, I did, Maggie, know, I, did she know that she's moving into an area that has a ser serial killer problem? No, she okay. doesn't know. And when she okay. finds out, she's very like, yeah, rattled. Could you and, imagine? Um, you just move into a house and then you find out, oh, by the way, <laughs> exactly. we have this and he's going, serial killer running loose. <laughs> exactly. And the serial killer was going after women who looked like me, like blonde. And so like he had like a type. So it was, she was very, yeah, very scared. <laughs> so, so. Maggie also has a past, I'm guessing, that she has to deal with as well as the issue with the killer. That's right. There's a past there. That Are they, uh, are that they is connected? Is the killer connected to Maggie? 
Uh, I don't want to say too much. No, no, don't give it away. You, uh, but um, <laughs> I'll, ask the, don't I'll ask the questions, you know. but you gotta, you gotta like censor what you need to censor. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think I'm gonna censor that one because I don't want you making any connections, like too many connections, because I want you to keep you guessing when you're watching. That's right. Well, you know, as a fan, yeah. we love to be surprised, but we also want to know mm -hmm. everything that's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. There's a fine balance there, right? <laughs> yeah. There'll be you some know, good, uh, good twists and turns for sure. Well, the just the trailer was kind of twisty. You know, it's like you don't know exactly yeah. what's going on, but yeah. you know there's stuff You'll going on. It. Exactly. I love those kinds of movies, honestly, when it all just kind of like, you're like, what is happening here? Like, and then it all just ties together. And I'm like, oh, it's so satisfying. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Did you get to do, because it's a thriller, so do you get to do any stunts or did you have some action scenes that you had to, had to fight a little bit? Exactly. Yeah, I did have some action uh, scenes and it was the first time I got to do fight training and I loved it. Uh, yeah. It's so much fun learning how to fight without hurting anybody. Um, but it's like, it's funny because like you still can kind of like get bruised and like you still have to like be a little bit like. It does it, and like like if it. you if you go through that, like you're training to to kind of to kind of learn to fight. Can you mm -hmm. actually use that to fight or is it specific <laughs> for the film industry where you wouldn't hurt anybody? <laughs> That's a great question. No, I don't think I, I would would use that if I got into a fight. I wish I hope I don't. <laughs> that would be kind of useful if it was like, well, if I, I actually know. just hit or kick, yeah, I could use it. I don't think, but, yeah, I know it doesn't really translate that well. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, I thought I thought maybe that was the case. It's still though, pretty exciting. I think that, and it, it yeah. like, once you do that, can you, you can kind of add that to the resume or the toolbox then? Oh, for sure. Yeah. I guess you just yeah. got to keep it warm and like, not forget, like, um, yeah. but yeah, there's a big, like towards the end, there's a, a very dramatic scene and it's, you know, a big fight and yeah, lots, lots going on. And that was, it was so cool to film and you know, you feel your heart racing a little bit and you're hoping everything's going to go well. <laughs> and you just take a deep breath and you trust your director and you go for it. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. But the first time I've actually felt like a little bit like, like, like there was like lots of safety people and everything was like right. done properly and well. And I felt safe, but it was the first time I was like, ooh, <laughs> I just, you know, I felt it a little bit. <laughs> well, yeah, it'd be a little bit frightening you've yeah. never done it mm -hmm. you've got people actually trying to fight you you know even yeah. if you pretend and it's still explosion. yeah and there's a big explosion and like yeah so oh. lots okay. going on mm -hmm. <laughs> no jumping out of buildings or anything though no just running <laughs> <laughs> well that can be exhausting <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah that's pretty oh, good funny so what was the um, uh, the audition like? It, was it just send the tape in, or did did somebody like reach out uh, specifically for you for the role? Yeah, you know, it was one of those blessings where I they reached out to me. I didn't even yeah. do an official audition. That's great. Didn't get any sign. Didn't make a self tape. Uh, we just had um they they basically just asked to have a meeting with me, so we actually s did a Zoom call. Yeah. Um, had a great chat and yeah, I guess they just kind of had their eyes on me for that part. And uh, it, that was it. I was offered the part. Yeah. Really lucky when that happens. It's like, it's such a great feeling because there's obviously so much auditioning in this industry right. and a lot of rejection. <laughs> yeah. To, to <laughs> so, know off the bat that somebody wants you. I mean, that's got to yeah. be a great feeling. It's, it's the best. Like I've had it happen a couple of times and I've been lucky like that. And it's just, yeah. Knowing that you don't have to go through that process and kind of prove yourself or like, and get invested and really wanting a part and not getting it. Like, you know, it, it can be hard, but yeah. So I'm very, was very it, grateful that they was it someone like that. that you had, um, that you'd worked with before or had they seen you in something? 
Every time it's happened, it's happened three times and I, I've never worked with them before. Um, I, I think they had found, um, two of them found my profile on like a, an acting, like casting yeah. sites. And I guess they looked at my work and stuff like that. And the other one found me on like had seen me on social media and like thought I had a good look for the character. So it was kind of the same thing, like an interview kind of thing more so. Oh, that's awesome. So, yeah. Yeah. It can happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just don't hear about that happen. happening too much. Especially, like, you'll hear that happening if you already know the person. And, the, you know, they, yeah. they have a relationship. But if they don't know you, yeah, just no. seeing you and like, oh, yeah, that's that's the one we want. That's pretty great. Yeah, I mean, I feel so grateful that they would put that trust in me. And, like, yeah. I, every time I say yes to a project, I give it my absolute all and so yeah maybe they could feel that <laughs> did you um I know you're in Toronto now did you grow up in Norway I did yeah born and raised in Norway I moved here six years ago and it was one of those things that it wasn't necessarily meant to be like a permanent thing like I didn't like come here like moving away from home I love Norway I love my family my friends there um, but now, um, I'm getting married and I'm settling down here. Yes. So <laughs> yeah, congratulations. Yeah. are you marrying you. someone in the entertainment industry? No. Oh, okay. I'm not. Yeah. Very different, but he really likes, like he, he thinks it's really interesting and fun that I'm like, that I have a more like creative career than him. And like, he takes takes a big interest in what I do and actually in cry of silence I they were like um looking for some extras for a scene um and I was like oh, why don't like my Jonathan so that he can like try and be on set and he came and he did such a great job and um so I've actually gotten him like just like smaller parts just for fun. <laughs> good for he him gets to come and like hang out with me on set and that's been really great um, so yeah, he's actually in the trailer. He's one of the forensic investigators. <laughs> you just see like a second. <laughs> but it was great. funny because yeah, it, it was a night shoot and he was not prepared for that. He, he, he was like, he couldn't believe it. He's like, why are we shooting at like 3.30 AM? I'm like, this is how it is sometimes. Like it's hard. Like with that movie, there, there was a few like night, night scenes yeah. or night shots. Um, and that's that's a lot. You got to like really shift your rhythm. And he was exhausted after that one night. He was like, yeah, I don't know. This night stuff is not for me. <laughs> I, I, I love that. Uh, you know, my uh, my wife is is very creative and I'm not. So so I, I, I can understand that relationship, but it works really well because yeah. I tend to keep her a little grounded. And she keeps me from just, you know, sitting by myself all the time. Cause I would, you know, if I'm left, I'm an introvert. If I'm left to myself, I'm perfectly fine just sitting, you know, but <laughs> reading, like watching TV, whatever. So, <laughs> so we balance good because she forces me out of my comfort zone, but I also keep her from going too far out of her comfort zone. Yeah. <laughs> I would say that's probably a bit true for us as well. Definitely. Yeah. But you have to have some like, creative creativity you would think in you so. with the show <laughs> you know like you're in front of an audience and talking you have a bit of an yeah not only not just introverted I would say but we all have like a little bit of you everything right we're not that's just right. like one or the that's other right. I'm usually yeah. pretty good once I'm comfortable and I've gotten pretty comfortable on this podcast we've been doing it long enough but yeah. in new situations I just clam up <laughs> <laughs> I think that's very normal. <laughs> it surprised me yeah. how many uh, introverts are in the entertainment business. A lot of oh, them. Oh, yeah. A lot of them. I would say, like, I, I'm i definitely a bit of both. And in some situations, I can get a little bit, like, awkward or, like, shy or, like, like totally. Like, I think I, I have both for sure. Yeah. And I think mo you're right. Most people have uh, both. It's It usually just comes down to how comfortable you are. If you're comfortable, yeah, you're probably right. you're probably interacting and 
and kind of outgoing. But if you're uncomfortable, you just gonna keep to yourself. <laughs> it's so true. It has a lot to do with like the people you are surrounded by too yeah. and how they're making you feel, right? That makes a huge difference. Yeah. Well, and like like I know with with actors, when they're acting, they're fine. Because that's yeah, it's not really them, you know. It's a character they're playing, and it's similar, I think, with the with the podcast. This this is me. This is how I am normally. But it's the difference. I think is that I'm much more outgoing with it. Same personality. Mm -hmm. I'm just more more likely to uh, to engage if it's podcast related. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that makes total sense. People were weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's complicated. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure it can be. <laughs> yeah, but that I, I just dawned on me. I was like, no, she she probably grew up in Norway. That's that's uh, that's pretty great. Yeah. Is do you speak anything besides Norwegian and English? No, I don't. Yeah. Well, no. that's that's but pretty I, good. <laughs> yeah, I can understand um, Swedish and Danish because the languages are very similar. Yeah. So I could talk a little bit of those languages, but I'm not like fluent in them, but yeah. they're very similar. So, yeah. Yeah. My <laughs> wife's like that with Spanish. She can speak a little bit. She understands it really well. Um, but uh, you actually having to use the words, she struggles a little bit with that. Mm, probably because yeah, probably because yeah. this the opportunity to use it day to day isn't there. So, you know, if you don't use it all the time, you don't get real familiar with it. Right. That's right. You don't use it. You lose it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Well, so Cry of Silence, I believe it comes out May the 1st. Is that, uh, yeah. is it, are you doing a uh, theater release at all or is it straight to streaming? Uh, yes, straight to streaming. That's, yeah. that's it. Yeah. Yeah. And I mm -hmm. think it's coming really? for us. It's going to be on Amazon, I think, Amazon Prime. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty. So Amazon Prime, Hollywood Suite. Yeah. That's right, Hollywood Suite. Yeah, I knew there was one I was uh, forgetting, but that's a, you know since 2020, it's it's changed how we're watching content, especially movies. And even though all of us, I think, prefer a big screen, it's really mm -hmm. nice and convenient when you can do it at your house. It's pretty oh, cool. it really is. Although I actually forgot that it did have it was in cinemas at Stratford um oh. cinema in Toronto yeah for a little bit so that that was oh, that's that, great that's did um did you get to do a red carpet um we didn't actually do a like a big red carpet thing there I wish we did yeah yeah but you need we to did. but we had a really nice screening like here in Toronto with the cast and crew and oh, okay. family and friends and that was amazing like seeing everyone again and like seeing the movie for the first time, like it's such a magical, such a magical feeling. Do you have trouble watching yourself or does that bother you? Well, I mean, I'm always going to be super critical when I watch myself, right? And I'm going to be like, why did I do it like that? I should have done like that or like, oh, like looking at every little thing, right? But I think, you know, I, I try to not be so hard on myself, <laughs> Um, so I'm okay with it, but of course you, sometimes you feel like, yeah, you're just a little bit like more apprehensive when it's yourself. Yeah. It's pretty good cast for this, uh, for this film. Uh, it was, it was pretty like when you, yeah. when you dive into it, even, even the smaller parts, they're pretty good actors. They really are. I had such a pleasure working with them, really talented cast and crew, um, it was, you know, we had a lot of trust and fun on set and everyone was giving it their all, like literally like hearts were poured into every frame. And that's such a great like energy to be around. Um, so, yeah, that was but it definitely... makes you it makes you um, more engaged and, and maybe you put a little more effort into it when when the energy's high, you know, it just kind of happens. Yeah, I mean, acting is obviously easier when you have amazing, like, co-workers and fellow actors that really give it their all, too. Like, of course, like, it does something to you as well. So, and we would have, like, karaoke sometimes after, like, we finished shooting for the day just to, like, have fun and let loose. <laughs> so, yeah, it was a great time. It was, yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That, as as a fan, you know, we want 
to hear that there was chemistry on set, you know, because if yeah. there's not, a lot of times that screws up a movie and we may not be able to say, well, their chemistry was bad. That's why it didn't work. But we can tell something's not working. Yeah. I actually recommended my co-lead Felipe Akau, um, who plays Frank Klassen, mm -hmm. my husband in the movie. I recommended him for the part. They asked me, like, do you have any anyone that you worked with before that like you feel like you work well with and you think would be a good match? So and anytime I get to like recommend somebody, yeah. that makes me so happy because like anytime I can help, right? That's right. It's hard enough. But, um and I, so I actually gave them three guys. Uh, and then they picked Felipe and he did such an incredible job. And so I knew that he would like, he would work and like we would work together and he would do an amazing job and they were so happy with him and he was so right. for the oh, part. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's pretty good. And it does. I mean, the whole industry is based on um, connections and and being you know the people that you've worked with before a lot of work comes out of that you know once you once you know somebody or meet somebody that's kind of how it works you pass them on or they pass you on and there you go it's really true um it's so important like it's such a collaborative industry yeah. too and you know if you're someone who's pleasant to work with and you do a good job like they're going to remember that they're going to recommend you they're, they're going to want to work with you again and so it really is a lot about like who you know. And, um, you know, I love when I get to work with um, people again and again, like that's so great. And yeah. 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 And well, and it, it, it helps too, because you're, you're already comfortable with them. You know, you've got yeah. that familiarity and it just, it just flows better. So mm -hmm. that's pretty good. Any, any desire at some point to step behind the camera? Yeah, I think that's like a natural progression for yeah. a lot of actors. Um, and I think it's very beneficial to understand all the different elements of filmmaking. Um, I'm currently like um, developing a couple projects myself. Um, like I don't see myself necessarily like directing or like, like, like that right now, but like just more so trying to like uh, also create like more opportunities for myself and other actors and um, kind of tap into that creative um, nature in me, which is more has more to do with like developing a storyline and and yeah, and trying to get projects made. Um, I think that's also like really um, important for actors to do to try and take like a proactive oh, yeah. um, role in their career. Um, and when you realize like how many actors are doing this, it's like, oh wow, like everyone's everyone's <laughs> trying to like stuff and yeah. But it's uh, so yeah, definitely. Um, so just like dipping my toes into that right now. <laughs> is it is it harder to write a script or to get that script made into something? So I actually um, did write a script as like a practice just to see how I would do. Yeah, it's certainly very hard. Um, but I also really enjoyed it. Um, I, I would say, I mean, they could be equally as hard. Yeah, they're both but, difficult. Like, they're both very hard. I have so much respect for writers and producers and, yeah, everyone in the industry because it's just hard, like, all across. <laughs> but getting a movie made, like, that is a huge undertaking. Yeah. That can be a long journey. It really can, yeah. Well, I know some <laughs> independent films, it can be a decade to get it out. Oh, it can. It, it very well can, yeah. I know a couple that's taken a very long time, and that's not unnormal, yeah. Not unusual. I have trouble with that, I think. I know actors that you get used to, you know, you do the project and you just you move on because you know it's going to be a while before you actually get to see it. I think I'd have trouble with that. Is that is that something that takes some getting used to, or is it that's just the way it is? So you just deal with it. Yeah, you know, it's funny because you're so immersed in the project and in the role when you're filming, and then like nothing for a long time because they're, yeah. you know, editing the production. And then suddenly when it's released, it like blossoms back up and like you go back into it. 
Yeah. Um, like now, you know, I'm doing a lot of press for the release and, you know, I go back to all of those things that I haven't kind of visited for a long time. Um, but it's like, you just have to like, let it go afterwards and just look forward. You don't want to be too anticipating because it's going to be a little while. No, you so got to have patience. Just know, right. Yeah. Knowing that like, it'll come and it'll be amazing when it does, when you get to revisit that in a different way. Um, but yeah, just have that patience and excitement like just in the back of your head yeah <laughs> yeah yeah and well and then yeah when it comes back out it's like everything's good then but also very yeah busy. but once it comes out then you got all the press you gotta it, it's a lot when it comes out but that's yeah. the fun part yeah, it's of like, it. oh it's so much fun absolutely yeah yeah is there a uh is there a genre that you haven't got to do that you would like to try Oh, um, let's see. I've visited a few different genres now. Um, I don't know. I, I don't have like a strong, there's nothing I have like a strong, strong desire towards, but like, I'm very open. Like it kind of more depends on the role. Yeah. Um, and I would love to, yeah, do a little bit of everything really. Well, you got to round it out. I guess and kind of yeah. show that you're good with comedy and horror and thriller and all that mm -hmm. stuff, you know, kind of. Well, yeah. and so now you now you know how to fight, so you've got that. I one. know. I gotta you know, watch out now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's that's never a, a bad thing, at least on because I I've talked to a lot of actors. They say they just always say yes when they're asked if can you do this. Yes. Most of the time they can't and then they got to figure it out. That's so funny. I've definitely done that. I'm not going to lie. Like, <laughs> it's like, oh, can you like, like, you know, like, for example, like snow, can you snowboard? And I'm like, I did snowboard a little bit as a kid. Like, yeah. I could probably like, get yes. back into it. Yeah, I can do it. Yep. Yeah. Or like, I've tried something like horseback riding. Like, yeah, like I, I did use that as a kid. Like, I can definitely, yeah, like I, I can do it. Yeah, no problem. Like I'll figure it out. Like you don't want to like, you don't want to say no to something that you could like actually just like you could learn it. Well, and horseback yeah. riding is the one I, I usually hear about. You know, can you ride a horse? Oh yeah, no problem. And then I got to go and figure out but how to ride a horse. Yeah, but I've actually gotten back into horseback riding like because I used to do it as a, as a, a kid and yeah. really enjoyed it. And I just didn't do it for a little while. And I've done it like more recently and i love it so now i can confidently say you like, can confidently yes. say that one <laughs> i can you can put me on a horse and i'll be i'll be great <laughs> well charlotte thank you for taking a little bit of time i the the movie looks gay, great it's a uh, cry of silence may 1st uh amazon and hollywood what's sweet. the last yes hollywood sweet um can't wait to see it it looks terrific it's uh uh it's one that might have a few places that I gotta close my eyes because I'm a big chicken. I get scared easy, but that's okay. I do too. I can't watch any scary movies. <laughs> I do a lot of this. <laughs> oh, me too. Well, thank you so much, Michael. It's been great chatting with you and thanks so much for having me on. Oh of I hope course. you enjoy the let me know. Oh think? yeah, we're so so. What we'll do is is because we can hold like twenty or so in the studio, and we'll just invite every you know all the couples probably over, and we'll do a movie night. So oh, I love that. I'll send you some pictures. Oh, perfect! I would love, yeah. love that. Yeah. Yeah, I'll send yeah. you some pictures because yeah, we got a, a decent little setup, so we can uh, we've made it a thing. You know, when uh, I have somebody on the show, we tend to watch the the movie or TV show, but we like to have everybody over. So we just bring the family. We'll just, we'll make I it. I love that night. tradition. Yeah. That's awesome. Nothing yeah. better than a good movie night with family and friends. Well, you can't beat it. And, you know, we're in the studio, so we'll order some food. You know, we'll make it, we'll make it nice. I'll send you some pictures. <laughs> oh, lovely. Looking forward to seeing them. <laughs> okay. So, so a couple Say little things. What's that? Say hi to everyone from me. Oh, I will. Say hi to everybody from me. Yeah. Yeah, I totally will. And they'll, yeah, they'll have a a, a blast with that. It, it's it, movies are more fun in a group. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, sharing that experience with someone is always better. 
Always. So a couple little things before I let you go. Um, anything else that you're working on that we can keep an eye out for? Yeah. So um, I'll be doing um, a uh, a couple. There's a, I'm in, there's a couple of projects that I'm uh, involved with that are in development now, and it's Noose, which is a period piece drama series, and Chocolate and Flow, which is crime drama. Yeah. Oh, crime drama. Yeah. So yeah, uh, yeah. you can keep your eyes out for those. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I'm assuming that once those get ready to come out, you'll put that out on social media. So where can we find you on social media? Yeah, uh, you can connect with me on Instagram. It's just at Charlotte Daish. Um, and yeah, I'll definitely let everyone know when things are coming out. And yeah. Yeah, you'll have to come back when you get the next one. Just reach out. We'll put you back on. For sure. I'd love to. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Charlotte, hold on one second. That was Charlotte Daish. I hope uh, hope you enjoyed that. She's a talented actress. Um, you're going to enjoy the movie. It's Cry of Silence, May the 1st, Amazon. So make sure that you uh, check that out. Um, really terrific. And I love uh, the work that, that she does. I'm... Uh, Charlotte is talented. You're you're going to be impressed. I I'm hopeful that at some point we get to hear her sing. I got a suspicion that she's a really good singer. With that, I know she can sing because she was in a lot of theater, uh, musical theater. But I I kind of suspect she's really good singer. So hopefully we'll get to uh, to hear her at uh, at some point. But let's do our part and support Charlotte in her new film, Cry of Silence. I don't think you'll be disappointed. It's it's going to be um, a good one. The trailer, which you can look up uh, now, uh, it's out. It's it's excellent. It's it's really good. If you're finding us for the first time, I'm so happy that you're here. Thank you. Um, we'd love to have your support. There's a couple of easy ways you can do it. They're both free. Uh, our YouTube channel is MeisterCon Pod. Please just subscribe. That helps us a ton. It's free. But those subscriptions really help us to uh, to bring on guests. Um, today, we released episode 759. You can find all of those audio and video on our website, MeisterCon.com. It'll also let you know if we're doing anything in studio, if we're going on location, covering a convention, anything we have going on be on the website, MeisterCon.com. So please check us out there. Our IMDB page is uh, Too Opinionated. If you go to imdb.com, look up Too Opinionated Podcast. Just, just looking at the page, which is free, helps us out, that traffic uh, on the page. IMDb recently named us a top 100 podcast. 15 million podcasts out there to be on anybody's top 100 list. So thankful for that. Appreciate you guys so, so much. Till next time. Bye, everybody. Hi, everybody. I'm once again here to ask for your support. It's been a big year for the Two Opinionated podcast. Back in February, we got to live out a dream, moderate for William Shatner here in our hometown. In May, we passed 100,000 downloads on our YouTube channel, and we followed that up in June with 50,000 downloads on the audio side. We recently posted our 600th episode, which is pretty good volume for just a uh, father and son operation. You know, not too many podcasts can keep that volume up. We've been doing this now for four and a half years, 600 plus episodes. We recently hit 1,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel, which is a really big deal for us because we've always gotten the views, but have struggled to get people to subscribe. So that 1,000 was a big deal for us. And best of all, we were recently named one of the top podcasts on IMDb, which is the entertainment database. You know, those that are ahead of us, we came in at number 82. Those that are ahead of us are bigger companies like Disney, mostly Marvel, and Joe Rogan, that type of uh, podcast. So for us, being just a, a small West Virginia father and son podcast to be in the top 100 out of 15 million, it's a pretty big deal for us. So thank you 
for everything you've done for us so far. Got a couple little ways, though, that you can help us, and they're free, and they're really easy. If you haven't checked out our YouTube channel yet, please go to YouTube. It's under MeisterCon Pod. Just hit subscribe. It's free. doesn't cost you anything. really helps us a ton. And maybe even more important, if you could go to IMDB, imdb.com, look up the Two Opinionated Podcast, and just look around the page. Just having that traffic on the page really helps us out. So that's a couple easy ways that you can support us, even if you're not listening or watching all of the time. And we want you to listen and watch, because I think that our our guest list, I would put up against anybody, any other show, podcast, anybody out there. I think our guest list holds up. So please check us out. You you probably will find somebody that you like or maybe somebody that you didn't know you liked but kind of discovered them on there. There's tons of that. If you're into music, we have that too. If you like books, we've got authors on there. If you if you're more into what goes on behind the scenes in the entertainment world, you know, we've got producers, directors, um video artists, anything you can think of that happens behind the scenes, we've had them on the show. So definitely check us out. Thank you guys so, so much. Until next time. Bye, everybody.